Today we are looking at the derivative using first principle. This is mathematics 1512. Let us start. This is the equation we are going to use. We all know that this symbol represents the derivative of a given function which is f equals to the limit as h approaches 0. It is given by the function whereby the input we are going to put x plus h minus the original equation or the function f all over h. This is the equation we are going to use to determine the derivative. Let us look at practical examples. Suppose we are given f as x squared and then we want to find the derivative of this function using the first principle. Now before we can substitute into the equation, normally what I do, I first find x plus h. So where I see x, I will substitute by x plus h. So we have x plus h squared. And then simplifying this, we are going to have something like this. So it's x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared. And then we have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now this 2xh comes from this. These are like terms. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And then we normally take the variable. So we can see that x plus h is in fact this. Now we can go ahead and substitute into our equation. So the equation is f of x. It's equals to the limit as h approaches 0. We have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now, as we said, our f of x plus h is this. So we can go ahead and simply substitute. We are going to have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus. What is our f of x? f of x is the original function, which is this. So our f of x is x squared. Normally, I put bracket because sometimes you might find that the original function is not one term. So you must multiply each and every term inside the bracket all over each. So from here we have limit h approaches 0. We have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h. Now looking at like terms, we can see that this and this are like terms. So we must add the two. So x squared minus x squared, in fact, this will get rid of each other. And then you are left with 2xh plus h squared all over h. And then from here, we need to factorize. We can see that the common factor is h in this case. So we factor out h and then there's a scale on how to factorize. So 2xh divided by h as our factor. This will get rid of this and then we're left with this. So we put it here. And then we have h squared divided by h. This will get rid of this. And then we are left with what? h. All over h. This will get rid of this, and then we are left with limit as h approaches 0, 2x plus h. Now we need to substitute. Now We can directly substitute. So we have 2x plus 0, and then we have 2x. So the derivative of x squared is in fact 2x. We can prove this using power rule. We need to verify this answer. So we have f of x is equal to x squared. 
Now the derivative of this, it will be 2x. Remember the power rule, you multiply this with the coefficient, so 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, and then the very same power you minus 1, so it will be 1. That's it for this lesson video. This is Bahula SJ. Thank you very much.